Hello guys, my name is Gauri Bandre. I'm an intern at Lexis & Company. My topic for today's discussion is arrest. And in today's discussion, we're going to see what is the procedure that needs to be followed under a lawful arrest, what are the rights of the person being arrested, and what are the uh, procedures that needs to be followed during an arrest of a female. Now just imagine that you're having a peaceful dinner with your family and there is a knock on your door. There's a police officer standing right outside your door to arrest you. You don't know what is the reason and what is your fault. But all you know is you are being arrested. In this case, there are certain rights that you should know while being arrested and a lawful arrest is being conducted. Under Criminal Procedure Code of 1947, there are certain procedures that is laid down to be followed during a lawful arrest. Now, first of all, we need to know is that arrest can be classified broadly into two types. One is under cognizable offence where there is no warrant needed and second is during the non-cognizable offence where warrant is mandatory before an arrest. Under a non-cognizable offence, it is mandatory for a police officer to have a warrant, warrant issued by a magistrate. Now what does non-cognizable offence consist of? Assault, cheating, public nuisance, etc. are, are considered under a non-cognizable offence. So in this case, it is mandatory for the district magistrate to issue a warrant to the police officer before getting a person arrested. And in cognizable offence, it is not mandatory for a police officer to have a warrant to, you know, arrest a person, even if he feels that there is some kind of suspicion and he feels that, uh, you know, maybe he is going to do something wrong. In that case, also, he can conduct a lawful arrest. Now, what does cognizable offence consist of? Cognizable offence means offences like murder, theft, rape, uh, etc. are considered under cognizable. A private person can also arrest a person committing an offence if he thinks that whatever you are trying to do is unlawful and can hurt somebody. So, in both the cases, it is mandatory for the police officer to inform that person who is being arrested about the charges which he is being arrested on in case the arrest has already taken place first the person needs to be informed why he is being arrested second he has a right to inform his relative friends or family about the arrest and where he is being arrested third the accused person has right to consult a lawyer immediately or you know take any legal help if he needs now in case of bailable offense so there are two types of offenses bailable and non-bailable bailable offense it is mandatory for the police officer to inform the person being arrested that he has the right to you know have bail because at times what happens people don't know and people are not aware that they have the right of bail in certain offenses and in that case the police officer misuses his power and you know not inform the person being arrested about his rights that in bailable offenses you have right to take bail case a female being arrested she cannot be arrested before 6 pm that is before sunrise or after sunset unless these circumstances are extraordinary in any case there should be a female officer while the female is being arrested after being arrested she should be put up in a separate cell any person under the age of 15 cannot be summoned to go to the police station and being questioned he needs or he or she needs to be questioned at home itself in all the cases the arrested person has right to remain silent this is very important right and guys many people are not aware of this now if you are silent it won't be assumed that you have committed the offense after which it is mandatory for the police to record the time of your arrest and specify the date because within 24 hours of your arrest it is mandatory for the police to present you in in the front of magistrate where a magistrate can take the actions further if in case the police are denying or you know extending your 24 hours of arrest then it will be considered as an unlawful arrest if you think that the police officer has tortured you in some of the other physical aspect in that case the accused has a right to be medically examined by the government doctor within 48 hours of his arrest in case of violation of any of this procedure or you know being tortured or conduct conduct of an illegal arrest you can inform a human right commission or can lodge a complaint towards any senior police officer under the same jurisdiction these were few of the procedure that is mandatory to be followed before in lawful arrest 
guys it is really important for everybody to know these small small things person who is being arrested is innocent until proven guilty thank you